Hi my lovelies, how are you? Uh, today we're gonna be talking about styles and muffin. Some people have been asking for it, so let's get started. So we're gonna start with the cut eye look. So what exactly is a cut eye and who is it suitable for? So the cut eye look would be that we're gonna place the longest lashes in the outer corner. Okay, so it gives you that kind of like a sweeped look. Some people call it like Audrey Hepburn look. Some people call it more like a more like a fox look. Um, but uh, it's very well known as a cat look as well. So we're gonna do our uh, mapping. So uh, we're just gonna split the eye. Okay, so this is our uh, middle part, the center, and we've got the inner corner. So um, here, here. So we've got the inner corner, we've got the center, and we've got the outer corner. Okay, so this outer corner needs to have the longest lashes, and that gives you that really nice, uh, longer kind of looking eye. So we're going to start with a really short length because as you know, the lashes in the inner corner are really, really short. So it all depends what kind of length of the lashes do you want in the outer corner. So you need to have a look what the length does your client have. And then we want to go only two to three millimeter longer than her natural lashes. Okay, so um, let's say that we're going to start a bit a uh, size, um, I don't know, let's say five. Then we can also split the inner corner into another part. So, so we can do this area in twos. So we can do five, six, and we can do this area in twos as well. So we can do seven, eight. Then we need to move into the center of the eye. So we can do either nine and 10 in here, or you can again split the area um, into two parts, or maybe you can just do one length. So maybe you can do slightly longer, so you can do nine and nine, and then you just carry on with your tens. It all depends what is the length of your natural of your client's natural lashes. But if we carry on with that, so here would be 10, and then we can split this area again because we want really nice long um, outer corner to have kind of like a sweeped look. So we can do 11 in here, let's say, and we can just gonna carry on, we're gonna do 12, and then we can drop down to 11 with the, with the last few outer corner. So that gives you really nice, long, sweeped look. Um, so that's a cut eye, and the cut eye is suitable for a people who has got rounded eyes. So cut eye would be for round eyes. And uh, it's also suitable for almond eyes. But the cat eye is not suitable for someone who's got very long eyes because we don't want to make them even longer because this look will optically gives you much, much longer look. Okay, so this is the cat eye. Now we're going to move on to the squirrel eye. So we're going to do the same. We're going to split uh, the eye into three parts. Okay, so we've got center and then again we are going to do the inner corner, center, and the outer corner. Now, um, we're going to try to ignore the outer corner with the squirrel look this time. So just don't imagine this line in here. Imagine there is no line. Okay, so you're going to start with your own inner corners as you want. If you do want to do, let's say, six, seven, eight, nine, then here, there is your client's nose, you're going to take the wooden spatula and the squirrel look will be following the, the upper, uh, the, the highest point of the eyebrow. Okay, so if you take the wooden spatula and we go from the corner of her nose and we want to reach the uh, highest point of her arch, so we're just going to place the wooden spatula here to reach it there. Okay, so this is going to be this part 
it's not going to be there exactly. I, I can't draw, as you notice, but the arch is going to be moved somewhere else or somewhere here. Okay, so, so that's going to be your squirrel um, look, but the longest lashes would be in this part exactly. So you can split this part either in halves and you've got the longest part in here, or you can do slightly less in here and more lashes in here. So you've got bigger area here, so it gives you more like a dramatic look. And then you drop on the length again as you go towards the outer corner. So it gives you this kind of like short lashes, longest lashes, and then shorter lashes again. So this is the squirrel look. And the squirrel look will fit all kind of eyes. So it's going to fit the round eyes. It's going to fit the almond eyes. And it's going to fit the long eyes as well. Okay, so um, if you don't know what to do for your client, I think the squirrel look would be the safest option. And now we've got the dolly look. So again, we're going to split the eye into uh, three parts. We've got center. We've got the inner corner and we've got the outer corner. Now, dolly look uh, will be the area right in the middle. So the round look, round look will be exactly this part. Okay, if you want to do styling for your client and she says, I want a round look. So you try to do the, the longest lashes in this area. But if she wants a dolly look, you try to extend the area slightly wider okay so that means you need to have again the longest lashes in between this area and then again the um the mapping would be if you do want to split this area in twos as well you can do six seven you can split this uh this area you can do eight and then you can have the longest part in here for example nine all the way and then you can drop down on the sizes. But again, depends what length does your client have with her natural lashes. Because if you do want to go slightly longer, you obviously you can. And you need to split the area into smaller parts. So you can do 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you can have all the 11s in here. Okay, so just follow the natural length of your uh, client's lashes and then you drop down on the sizes and you can split the area into few parts as well. So if you've got here 11, you drop down to 10, 9, 8 and you can finish with 7. So Dolly um, look doesn't fit any, uh, everyone, okay? So as you can imagine, it would be the longest lashes right in the middle. So it's not gonna suit someone who's got rounded eyes already because it's gonna make it even more, um, I would say maybe rounder, like bigger, but in a, it's not in a good way. Um, so what we want, we want them to, to make them look longer because they are small and round and we want them to, to make them nice and sexy and longer. So for Dolly, um, for, for uh, this kind of client, uh, the um, eye shape would be the um, long lashes, uh, sorry, long eyes. And it would be the almond eyes. Um, it's not suitable for the round eyes, as I said. And this one is not suitable for the long eyes. So I hope that all makes sense. Uh, there is way, way more to it. There is the asymmetry. There is the, uh, if someone's got um, eyes standing out, if someone has got, um, I don't know, um, eyes poked in, that is all about the eyelids and all of that. But, but, don't worry, I'm going to keep you updated about everything. I'm, I'm, I'm about to prepare something for you guys, but um, it's a secret. Uh, so um, this is the basic, what you should follow for your clients. And um, you're going to create fantastic 
lashes for your client is going to be very very happy about so i hope that helps let me know if that video did help you and uh let me know what you want me to do which which kind of video and i'm more than happy to do it for you so uh, thank you so much for watching and for all your support i'm loving your comments and thank you thank you so much for all your love so take care love you all hugs bye bye